Yes, the the main uh, first observation came from uh, using metastatic mouse tumors as opposed to the non-metastatic tumors that other people had been using. And so when I isolated macrophages from a metastatic line that I had generated, I found that macrophages were promoting tumor growth. And then I looked at macrophages from a human tumor, namely ovarian carcinoma uh, uh, from ascites, and uh, I found that they were promoting tumor growth. So that was uh, the finding that put in motion the old story. We have been, uh, I think, the first laboratory to uh, confirm, extend, and adjust uh, the original uh, paper by, uh, the, the finding in the original paper by Jerome Gallon and uh, Hervé Friedman, uh, published in Science in 2006. We had a paper in Lancet Oncology in 2009 uh, confirming and extending uh, their data. Uh, and I should mention that there is a paper uh, in press uh, in The Lancet uh, by Pages uh, et al. And we are part of the story with 3,500 patients. And uh, the take home message is that uh, this large study proposes that we move from a TNM classification to a TNMI, where I stands for immunoscore uh, classification of tumors, of colorectal tumors. We want people uh, who are bright, we need bright people, but brain uh, is not enough. Uh, you also need passion, you need heart, so uh, intelligence, commitment, uh, hard working uh, and uh, reliable. We want reliable people in the lab. Well, this is what uh, we hope will happen. This is what is happening. Uh, already now, eligibility uh, to uh, checkpoint blockade immunotherapy in many tumors is dictated by expression of uh, PDL1 uh, in the stroma and in myeloid cells uh, in particular. And recently, uh, there is a recent approval by Food and Drug Administration of uh, checkpoint blockade immunotherapy anti pdl one uh, in tumors that are characterized by uh, genetic instability, MSI. So I think that the future is to have uh, genomics and immunology hand in hand uh, in the fight against cancer. Yes, we are looking, we are focusing on the molecules that we have discovered. And uh, for in each and every case, we check whether and to what extent the impact of a given molecule on carcinogenesis, progression, and metastasis is dependent uh, on the microbiome. And of course, uh, this is. Uh, fundamental for progress. Uh, there is uh, strong evidence that it may impact on response to immunotherapy, although the evidence is a bit contradictory in terms of uh, the microbial species involved. So we need to sort it out.